Hi everybody, Lauren Brill, your Fauquier Education Association president. I'm coming to you today with some information in regards to a statement and a uh, information that was pushed out to all of our members and it was sent to the school board and the senior staff as well. So yesterday we made a statement in regards to a extension of virtual learning in January after, after winter break. What we are seeing happening this past week with the rise in cases post Thanksgiving time and with where things had been going with the county, with staffing, and what we were not able to get from the dashboard, we do not want to see that happen again. FEA has constantly said we need to be proactive in what we are doing with COVID related issues in our school systems. And what we want to see now is we want to see Fauquier County Public Schools tackle and be proactive with a plan moving forward for the second semester of the year to begin. We want the school board and we want senior staff to make a decision now, not later. We want this decision to come so that families and staff are prepared and we are preparing for that return to virtual post holiday season in January. We know that people will be seeing families. We know that people will be traveling. We know a lot of people didn't see family and travel over the Thanksgiving holiday. And we know that a lot of people are hoping to be able to do that now at this time of the year. So what we wanna do is we want to make sure that they understand that when we had to switch modules for learning platforms and whatnot back to virtual, it was very difficult. It was a very last minute decision on a Friday afternoon and it needed to happen on Monday. We know that educators worked overtime. They worked above and beyond to make that happen from Friday to Monday. And we know that it was very difficult on the families as well. And that is one of the reasons we are urging them to make this decision now and not wait till December 30th. We know that it's important to monitor the data and that's something we hope they continue to do always. However, knowing now will help move forward with what needs to be done. And then there will not be a very last minute decision for families and for staff come back to school. We know that that is one of the things that they stressed that they did not want with the 50-50, the amount of stress and the amount of anxiety over that plan um, that was coming out with the logistics and how that would go about. And we agree with that. And we also say that that needs to be something that needs to be put into place for this as well. We know that not knowing what's going to happen causes lots of stress and anxiety. And with the holidays, we always have lots of stress and anxiety. And so we don't want to add more to that. And we don't want our educators and our families to be feeling with this hanging over their head of they don't know what's going to really happen until the data is monitored and seen to end December 30th. We want you to make that decision now so that families and staff can enjoy their holiday season and they can have time where they know the plan ahead of time. Now, we want to make sure that we're being proactive as much as possible, and that is why we are sh urging our school board members and senior staff to make this decision. We have the full support of the VEA behind us with this, and Dr. Fetterman made a announcement on behalf of VEA in regards to their support in extending a virtual learning platform until the middle of January, and that is why we are also supporting that decision with the full support of VEA because it's the right thing to do. It's the best thing to do moving forward so that we do not have ourselves being stretched thin and we do not have ourselves being forced to make another change in the middle of January post the winter break. We want to make sure that we come out ahead and that we know what's going on and we are able to tackle those issues ahead of time. This soft pause does not mean that learning will stop by any means. It means that we will make a soft pause to take the time for self-quarantining, for doing the things that need to be done so that everyone can make sure they're following mitigation plans, post their holidays, and they can then get back to doing what we do best, teaching in person and working with the students. We want to keep teaching the kids in person. That is without a doubt what we always want. However, we want to make sure that everyone is as safe and as possible doing such things. And it's been very difficult this year, and we know that it has been very challenging. 
Not every decision has been great and not every decision has gone the way we wanted. And some decisions have been above and beyond spectacular. We want everyone to do a great job at their jobs. And in order to be able to do that, we want senior staff and the school board to help make that decision so much easier and to help our staff plan for that as well. So on behalf of the Fauquier Education Association, we are asking and calling for the school board and senior staff to, to give their staff a decision this week on the pause of instruction for in-person learning in January until January 19th, to make a soft pause and to extend the virtual learning until January 19th, where we can make sure that we are monitoring and doing the safest thing post our winter break.